My name is Kim Burton. I studied electrical engineering at Pittsburgh State University. I have a master's in electrical engineering from Wichita State. I was an avionics and electrical engineer at Textron Aviation, and I'm currently at Textron Aviation as a manager in customer service. As an electrical engineer at Textron Aviation, a big part of what we do is planning out where all the boxes go in an airplane and what interfaces they need between them to talk. So everything that's electronic on an airplane, the displays in the cockpit, the antennas on the upper and lower skin, has some kind of shared information between them and an electrical engineer has to determine what wires do we need in the nose, the fuselage, the tail to make it all work together and provide it in a format that people can build up. My role today is in customer service engineering. So we get calls and emails from all around the world and we work on airplanes here at Textron Aviation. We help people understand the design of their airplane, understand how to maintain and operate their airplanes, and sometimes come here to the shop where we can help technicians uh, do repairs and upgrades on our products. I think the most critical skill in engineering is actually being able to work on a team. Nobody has this whole airplane memorized. We have to help each other out. We have to write things down. We have to describe how our systems work. You have to be a great communicator, in addition to being constantly willing to learn new things on the technical side. What keeps me going every day is I get to work with really passionate people who love airplanes, and I get to learn new things every day. We've got new problems, we have new design ideas, and so the background that you come in with helps a little bit, but it's really willingness to learn and excitement for what's around the corner that keeps you going. I think growing up, I thought that engineers were people who have uh, taken apart and put together a whole airplane computer factory in their garage. I was really surprised when I got here that the most important skills are um, communicating and talking to people about ideas and being able to learn new things. I was nervous. I was nervous because I didn't have a whole airplane memorized and didn't understand that we all have to learn new things and try to deal with the problems in front of us. If you're interested in engineering, my advice is to follow your passions and hobbies no matter what they are. It doesn't have to be a stereotypical engineering hobby. I know engineers who are into quilting and knitting and party planning. Anything that gets you involved in plotting together the next steps and putting together a big picture of what needs to happen for things to get done, you're going to be a great engineer.